KLTV, Tyler Longview. Proud of East Texas, this is the East Texas News with Chuck McDonald, Dana Kay, John Adams with the weather, and Jeff Lawrence on sports. And now, Channel 7's East Texas News at 10. Good evening, I'm Chuck McDonald. And I'm Dana Kay. Health news past and present top our news tonight. Millions of Americans are at risk tonight for their lives. Based on a study released in the American Medical Association's journal, the findings state that blacks and Hispanics are less likely to get adequate medical care based on racial discrimination. ABC's George Strait has more. Overall in this country, blacks and Hispanics are not as healthy as whites. And the editor of the Journal of the American Medical Association says figures which point out the disparity are so dramatic that he is convinced there is only one cause. Overall, dealt with statistically, racial discrimination clearly is practiced in an overall institutional way in the delivery of health and health opportunities in this country today and probably always has been. For instance, life expectancy. For white men, it is 73 and rising. For black men, 64 and falling. Cancer. Blacks and Hispanics are twice as likely to get cancer as whites and five times as likely to die from it. Heart disease. The death rate for blacks is two and a half times greater than that for whites. And health insurance. Blacks and Hispanics are twice as likely not to have any at all. But the former head of the American Cancer Society says the problem here is much more than just race. But the bottom line problem, if you look at the, the situation today, is rooted in poverty. Racism causes poverty, and poverty causes death. The AMA has been concerned that not enough is being done about the way health care is delivered in this country. So with the editor of its journal raising the issue of racial discrimination, the AMA hopes that policymakers will now become serious about reforming a system which does not meet the health needs of millions of Americans. George Strait. ABC News, Washington. A subsidiary of Johnson & Johnson has reached an agreement tonight with the families of seven people killed by cyanide-laced Tylenol. The families brought suit against Tylenol for deaths that happened in 1982. They claimed that Tylenol officials should have known that the product could have been tampered with once it left the factory. The company doesn't admit liability, but the families will receive an undisclosed amount of cash. The Johnson & Johnson Company and its affiliate, McNeil, has uh, decided to, uh, to settle these cases. All seven cases have been settled, and before you ask me what the amounts are, let me specifically state that it's by the agreement of the parties uh, that the amounts of the settlements will be confidential. No one has ever been charged with placing the cyanide in those Tylenol capsules. The effect... <laughs> 